Hello everyone, my name is Nebras. I work with VPI Photonics as an Optical Systems Application Specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use VPI Transmission Maker Optical Systems to design a LiDAR system. The system is based on FMCW and coherent detection. I will demonstrate how it can acquire both target position and velocity in a single measurement. Let's go to VPI Photonics Design Suite and look at the schematic. This is the user interface of VPI Design Suite. And I have the schematic here in the workspace area. Let's look at the transmitter. We have a CW laser source with a specified average power and line width. The output of the laser is frequency modulated. So the chirp of the resulting optical signal is swept linearly with time in a triangular waveform. The optical signal is then split using a coupler to obtain the probe and the reference signals. The probe signal is passed through a circulator and directed to the target object through free space before returning to the receiver. During its round trip, the signal exhibits attenuation due to scintillation effects and time delay which is proportional to the propagation distance. The attenuation depends also on the weather conditions which are counted for in the channel model. In addition, the reflected probe signal is frequency shifted due to the Doppler effect. At the receiver side, the returning signal is mixed with the reference signal before being detected with a balanced photodetector. The different forms of noise are considered at the receiver, including thermal noise and shot noise. The electrical signal at the output of the photodetectors is then analyzed in the frequency domain and both the distance and velocity of the target object are calculated. Also, several signal analyzers are connected at different points in the setup to visualize the optical or electrical signals at every stage. Now, let's run the schematic for different values of target distance. Using this sweep file, the distance of the target is varied between 50 meters and 100 meters. The simulation only takes a few seconds to complete. Now let's look at the results in VPI Photonics Analyzer. The results appear in several windows. Here in the first window, we have the electrical signal at the chirp transmitter. This is the signal which drives the frequency modulator. The second window shows both the reference and the reflected signals. It shows the development of chirp versus time. The time delay is represented by the horizontal shift between the two waveforms and is proportional to the target distance. This window shows the spectrum of the detected signal. The frequency of the peak is also proportional to the total traveled distance. This spectrum is analyzed and the distance is estimated using the peak frequency. As we see in the table, the estimation of the distance is accurate within a few centimeters in this example. These results assume the object velocity is zero. Now let's set a value of 20 meters per second to the velocity and run the simulation again. Now, the spectrum of the detected signal exhibits two peaks. The frequency difference between these two peaks is proportional to the velocity. This can be verified using the marker feature of the analyzer. This LiDAR system has several key parameters which affect the accuracy of the results. These parameters include the chirp rate, the line width of the laser, the frequency resolution of the detected signal, and the noise at the receiver side. Using VPI Transmission Maker Optical Systems, it's possible to investigate the roles of these parameters to optimize the system design and increase the system efficiency and accuracy. Moreover, using VPI Component Maker Photonic Circuits, the impact of the integrated transmitter behavior on the system performance can be investigated. To learn more about this, stay tuned for part 2 which focuses on this aspect of the design. Thank you for watching.